This is your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm C.S. Scatterly. Minister of Finance, Prime Minister the Right Honorable Perry Christie will deliver the keynote address at tomorrow's Abaco Business Outlook at the Abaco Beach Resort in Marsh Harbor under the theme, A Bold Agenda the Next 25 Years. Organized by the Councilors Limited, President Joan Albrey congratulated Abaconians for their uncompromising stance in lobbying for high-quality development. Other speakers on the agenda include Central Abaco Administrator Charles Moss, Abaco Chamber of Commerce President Bado Boodle, Tourism's Deputy Director General Tommy Thompson, and Grand Bahama Port Authority's Senior Business Development and Marketing Manager Derek Newbold. In other news, the Bahamas Telecommunications Company will open its first Creole flagship store on September 26. The Carmichael Road-based store will be managed and staffed by a Creole-speaking team. BTC CEO Leon Williams says this is another first for the company and comes at a time when Southwest New Providence is growing by leaps and bounds. William maintains that BTC is proud to be a part of that growth. The company recently added 18 young adults who speak English and Creole to its new street squad marketing team. And in international news, the U.S. government has given Airbus the green light to sell planes to Iran despite fierce political opposition to the deal. The Treasury Department has approved the sale of 17 A320 and A330 passenger aircraft. The French company Airbus needs U.S. government approval to sell aircraft to Iran because many parts are made in the U.S. and the American authorities wanted to ensure the country doesn't use the planes for military purposes. Airbus signed the deal in January, agreeing to provide a total of 118 planes to Iran for about $26 billion. This is among its biggest ever sales and includes 12 A380 jumbo jets. This has been your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm C.S. Gowderly.